Mm -hmm. Need more. I need a spatula. All right. Spatula. Oh, it's broken. It's okay. You want some batter? Crockpot is full of chicken bones for the dogs. <laughs> da, 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 da. Delicious fudgy brownies. Yummy. 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 <coughs> She's sleepy now. Wanna take a nap? <laughs> take a nap. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I have to use it for oh, the bird is talking. Alright. Time to try this soda stream machine out. Once and for all. I'm not usually a fan of um, diet drinks. It tastes funny. But uh, I'm gonna try the diet cranberry raspberry type. Deal. Open it first. First step add water into the water. Um, bleh. first step add water into the bottle until the water fill line. Okay. Let's do that. Um, eh, um. Chris. Chris. Sorry, super zoom, guys. I like, I don't have any hands. See, I gotta use my knees. Is it cold? It's all right. Let's get, add it to the fill line. Which sucks not because this is tilted. Turn it the wrong way. <laughs> Looks good. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Now I press until it parts. Take the camera off there, put it here. I don't know if you can see me. And add one cap full of this baby to the line. There you go. Cover it up. And gently mix. This is interesting. This is kind of a stupid thing that I have to add at the last minute because I can't shake the bottle. Because it's carbonated now. It's going to spill it everywhere. Okay. I'll taste it. Bad. It's easy. I hate diet stuff, but this really isn't that bad. It's okay. So, um, we're visi we're visitors, but we're not really visitors because we're family. So, I'm in charge of dinner tonight. Uh, just rummage through, and I figured I would make some steaks with corn and quinoa and mushrooms. Try to pull it off. <laughs> See, oh, and I already made brownies for dessert. So yay! And Miss Bugs here just took a nice long nap, and she's being really good. Yeah, you are. Thank you. Now I can get started. With food. I really don't mind ever being stuck with food because. I like food. I like making food. It's fun. Yep. Alrighty then. Oh, compost. Ooh, made quinoa and corn. It's really good. This is my first time making quinoa, so I was a little scared, but it looks awesome. The beef is going down to room temperature, 
and I'm making homemade mushroom gravy. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good combination. This wasn't really planned, I just kind of looked through the pantry and see what I could make. And it worked! It worked out! Look at little Chubbs sitting with her foot up. Hello, Philly girl. Are you watching Tagalog song? I think so. Oh, she wants the camera. No, you're going to drop it again. Whoa. Mama has started to be more part of her vocabulary recently, and I really like it. It's cute. I'm used to hearing Dada, and of course I'm happy that she says Dada. It's so awesome to hear her speak, but she says Mama now, and I'm Mama. So it's cool. She said Mama before, but she never says it over and over and over like Dada. And today, she says it a lot, so yeah. Happy Bob. Okay, gotta check on my gravy. I think this is done. Okay. So, Grammy works at a jewelry store where they actually made our rings. And um, we've been married for two years now, and sometimes our rings take a beating. So, she took them in today to get polished and clean. And they are so awesome. Yeah. You have a diamond brush on them. I don't know if you can tell the texture. Yeah, over time it kind of disappeared. So I am so glad I can feel the texture. It's so awesome. And then my ring. I love my ring. If you guys didn't know it, it's supposed to look like a captive bead ring. And look, there's a chive on it. Um, I actually got an actual ball from a captive bead ring and sent it to them. And sent them like a, like a, a drawing of how I wanted it to be. And the, the stone is an opal stone, which is both of our birthstones. So that's what it looks like. It's very simple, but I love it that way. I love it that way. And the inside says forever ending never. My camera sucks, so it's not going to focus. But yeah, um, I broke my stone, so we're thinking of changing it. And because uh, it's made of glass, because it's literally from the captive bead ring jewelry. So, Grammy brought home the jewelry gem books. Oh, so beautiful. There's some really wicked cool ones. Look, babe. Stones. Oh, gee, those are pages of a book knocking off. <laughs> Rude. Like stumped me. Mm. You just fair. find out what, if you want to see these, which is just plain white. You know what they look like. But. Heads up! I didn't wear this one. It's nice awesome. Colored stone. Mm. Not you, you goose. For me. Oh. For moi. Look at your ring. It got beat up so bad it's when you were beautiful in now. Oh my God, I know. I didn't think it could be seen. <laughs> That's what grandmas awesome. are for. Yeah. Everybody's home. Look, she made food, honey. I'm I'm ready. Ready. I made steak with quinoa and corn and oh, mushroom gravy. I'm ready to eat. And, and, and. My dad showed me his, I'm showing him mine. <laughs> what did we get? Mine's bigger, but. Nah, you know bigger. what? I got two, though. <laughs> that I'm going for. <laughs> I figured. Uh, called Tongue Tie Belgium Style Special Ale Brew with Lemongrass and Basil. Awesome. Ooh, that sounds good. Good. Let's do it. Lemongrass and Basil. So we had for dinner last basil. night. I know, hurry. <laughs> You guys see how awesome these puppies are? They're so good. Oh, sit. see, Onyx already sat. Dismissed. Good puppies! Good puppies! They're so cool. Jewish, she don't know what a dreidel is. 
You like the bear ball? It's pretty much like a top with stuff on it. <laughs> cool stuff on it. It's a gambling game. It is. You've never played dreidel? I've never played dreidel. Okay. I've never seen a dreidel in real life. It's a, it looks like a little top and yeah, you spin like it. Top. And it's four sides. And there are four Hebrew letters according. And there's a half, which means, hey, which means half, a gimel, a nun, and a shin. Mm -hmm. Now, you spin the dreidel. Mm -hmm. Everybody has, a, well, I don't know, five, six, seven, handful, whatever. You can use coins, you can use candy, you can use whatever floats you guys. And you guess which one will be on you top. You don't guess. Okay. You take a turn, you spin it. Mm -hmm. And whatever side it lands on is what you do. Mm -hmm. If you get the gimel, you put one in the pot. Okay. If you get the nun, nothing, you don't do anything. Nun, that makes sense. Okay, if you get the hay, you get half the pot. Oh. Okay, if you get the shin, you win. You get the whole pot. Oh, there you go. So you start it off with everybody puts in one or two, whatever the ante up is. Uh-huh. And then you play. That's so cool. It's actually a lot of fun. And if you want to make it adult-like, you can use shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, you can see a nun would be no shots for you. Uh -huh. A shin was you have to do... Everybody does a shot. Okay. All right. You know, you half a shot. Half a shot. Yeah. Everybody else does. You know, you, you, you can make up the rules as you go. That's pretty way. cool, Bob. Huh, sweeters? Yeah! Yeah! That's half Israeli, which makes you a quarter Israeli. <laughs> She's, we call her the, the human UN. <laughs> Works for me. Yeah. <laughs> the human United Nations. Because she's got a lot of uh, blood in her. Ooh. That is homemade pumpkin bread. Hot. One with walnuts, one without. Yes. Yay. And then we got over here. Mmm, muffins with the fly hovering around. How rude! Has chocolate chip. This is chocolate chip oatmeal. And they're all the same. They're breakfast muffins. Um, mm. Wild blueberry, currant, chocolate chip, and multigrain. Yum yum. Pumpkin bread. Yes. Okay. You get this side. Get right. <laughs> no, you get that side. Apples. Hey guys, so I'm on the hot tub by myself right now because I want to soak my rib. <laughs> I want to marinate myself. Oh, I hurt myself last week, I think. I don't know how long ago, but um, I was um, trying to feed the baby in the car without taking my seatbelt off. She was really fussy and I've seen a lot of vlogs that uh, super moms who feed their babies in the car seat while the baby's strapped in the car seat without removing seat belts and such. And I thought it was a cool idea. Probably not the safest idea, but I thought it was cool. One day, Bubs was super fussy, so I decided to give it a try. Well. Vlogging. I am vlogging. She likes I... salt and vinegar chips. Huh? She likes salt and vinegar she chips. She does? <laughs> well, it was a bad idea because I really hurt myself. Okay, goodbye. Bye, it's really cold. I slid and I, I hit my ribs against the car seat and I felt and heard three pops. Pop, pop, pop. And then I couldn't breathe. Like, <clears throat> it really sucked. And, um, yeah. So it's been over a week. I know it's not broken because I can still breathe. Oh, it feels good. I can take a deep breath and stuff. And it was fine. I mean, it was just sore. Like, whatever. It wasn't bad. But um, uh, yesterday, I was feeding Bubs and she kind of kicked my rib. And from then on, it got so much worse. There's no swelling, so not necessary to use an ice pack or whatever. But uh, uh, this heat is helping so much. And the jets are massaging my back, so figured I'd give it a try. Daddy has baby. He still has a fever. It's so crazy. Uh, he's still sick after all this time. Like his fever keeps coming back, which is really not nice. Oh, so comfy. But anyway, moral, 
the lesson of this story is don't try to feed your babies while you're in the car. I know it's horrible, but now I bring the pump with us so I can try to feed her in a bottle, which doesn't really work because she doesn't take bottles. So just wait until you get home and make sure you feed your baby before you leave. I know it's mostly a comfort thing, but it's safer that way. You know, you don't want any accidents like I got. Or worse, you get in an accident and smush your baby or something. So yeah, don't do that. It's stupid. Um, it was just one of those, I have to give it a try, motherly thing to try to comfort my baby. But yeah, um, I'm not much for a cry it out method, but I'd rather have a crying cranky baby than a broken rib or an injured baby, you know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this soak. I'm too short for this tub, I'm trying to sit all the way down. And if I try, I'm gonna sink. <laughs> so I'm holding myself up, I've gotta find a better seat. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this soak for about 20 minutes or so until I feel much better. And um, it's also cold and it's raining, so it's perfect, feels really good. And yeah, before I drop the camera into the tub and ruin everything. Alrighty then, goodbye!